we were working to develop an electric hybrid excavator for quite some time and, and we felt like we were under tremendous pressure to follow what our competitors were doing. They had already introduced electric hybrids, we had not. Um, they were, and we, were highly influenced by what the automotive industry was doing, that is some form of energy capture and reuse electrically and, and we we're in what I think of as of, is an industry-wide group think that a hybrid machine had to be had to be electric. So the machine behind me is uh, our, our uh, famously named Black Beauty um, 320 electric hybrid machine. The challenge, of course, with the electric hybrid was not that the technology wouldn't work because the technology certainly worked. The challenge was with the cost. The electric architecture just wasn't allowing us to get the cost where we needed it to be to make our customers profitable. If there was a defining moment for what we were doing in the hybrid program, it was that January 2011 meeting with competitive hybrid excavator customers in Japan. And they kept pushing me, pushing back on me, saying it's not, just, it's not a hybrid excavator we want, it's performance, reliability, owning and operating cost, and yes, sustainability is very, very important, but I have to have those other three things. And if you're building a hybrid just to build a hybrid, don't build an electric. So we really had a competitive um, approach being developed on the side, and, and we kind of kept this team sequestered almost in secret, this is the machine that we affectionately refer to as Medusa. And Medusa is a, a significant experiment in our history. Uh, this is the machine that we use to demonstrate that the hydraulic hybrid that went, went to production on our 336 EH in 2013 uh, would actually work. This is the return to the scene of the crime. This is where I had to tell the electric hybrid team that their baby was not selected. It was difficult when it came when the decision came down that we weren't going to do it anymore, but um, we also understood the numbers behind it. We understood to do the right thing for Caterpillar. We wanted to, uh, to make sure that we weren't uh, just taking something that we were uh, you know, attached to but that we were doing the right thing for our customers. The electric hybrid program was absolutely a necessity. We, we had to go through the development of the electric hybrid to know and understand what that technology could do for us. Without that, the hydraulic hybrid program would never have been successful. But what's really important is our customers are voting for the path that we ultimately chose. That's cool about one every, uh, out of every three machines now sold in that size class is a hybrid. We're gonna keep her because she's a great example of experimentation. And we, wanna, we don't want anybody to forget that.